Alex, you come from a hockey family, but when did you first decide that you wanted to play? I think just watching my dad playing growing up around the game. I mean, he'd take me to the rink when I was little um, after school, and, and just being around the guys, you kind of learned um, what it took to get to that level, and I think it just looked like so much fun that you got to do that instead of go to school. So I think that was when I first realized, when I was really young. The benefits of having a Stanley Cup winner at home are pretty obvious, but were there any times when it was kind of tough? Yeah, he just knows so much about the game. I mean, he called me after last night's game and, and could pick things up that I'm like, I didn't even realize that in the game. So I'm like, yeah, there's, there's a lot to go, uh, there's a lot to handle with it, but um, you know, it's so beneficial that um, at the same time, it, it's a blessing. You represented the U.S. at the Sochi Olympics. What was one of your most vivid memories from that experience? I think just the atmosphere. I think just, you know, flying in. And I remember I was on the right side of the plane and I could see the whole village flying in. And it honestly looked like an amusement park when, I, when we landed. Um, but I think just being in that atmosphere and walking into certain buildings with so many athletes from different countries I had never even seen before, I think, um, you know, just the overall being there. The Vanka Rays are playing in the Russian League this season for the first time. What are some of the adjustments that you need to focus on? I think the closer travel a little bit will help us a lot. I mean, we're pretty used to flying 17 hours over to North America for a month and a half. But I think um, the shorter trips are going to be pretty good for us. Um, two weeks at a time instead of a month and a half on the road. But um, I think just getting used to new climate, um, pretty cold. and. Um, you know, none of us have really been there, um, just new experiences. Do you think that the larger ice size will present any challenges? Yeah, I think it's uh, pretty helpful that our rink's pretty big, our rink's a pond. But um, I think a lot of us have played on larger ice at times, so um, hopefully just practicing on our big rink will help us prepare uh, for when we get over to Russia. And lastly, how have you settled into life in China? Yeah, we were actually talking about this the other day, a few of us, um, we're, we're figuring out the whole China thing, um, you know, just figuring out little things like where to go to eat. Uh, we're t talking to some of the guys about um, the pasta place we found down the road. So just kind of going out and exploring instead of sitting in this apartment all day. Um, kind of the same thing you would do at home in a new city. Um, you got to go out and find things to do and obviously the Chinese are so helpful um, teaching us things and, you know, even how to order a coffee online. So. Little things like that, I think it's a collective effort between um, us doing things and the Chinese helping us out.